with the passage of time research focused on some of the pedagogical implications of theoretical and practical issues and we saw a shift in pedagogical focus like from conventional model to process model and then to academic literacy and um, communities of practice and now we have the concept of seeing eclectic approach which sees teachers as principled ones who uh, make the use of different principles to teach writing and they make they see the contexts of their students much more important so this is how uh, the shift in pedagogical focus saw writing as a situated one which is influenced by its uh, social and political elements so audio lingual method as you can see on the slide was much more uh, like focused on presentation practice and production and some grammatical items or some mechanical items were reinforced were taught and reinforced in drills of course drills do matter but drills should be used sparingly like they don't take too much time of the language teacher so audio lingual method and other methods before a communicative method were much more focused on the application of rules so students were actually required to write compositions within rigid established rules of grammar and this was called controlled composition and students were asked to write uh, uh, write sentences in a structured manner so this traditional a uh, way of teaching writing gave way to seeing writer important seeing writer's voice important and this is what we saw within cognitive approach within within interactionism within uh, social culturalism that they see writers as individuals they have their own lacks wants strengths and weaknesses when they write actually and there are a range of cognitive and metacognitive processes which are at play when students plan draft read aloud revise and edit and in in this regard pedagogically like teachers are required to change their uh, focus from traditional to uh, peer collaboration where multiple drafts are are seen important the writing of multiple drafts where there is lot of revision done where writing is seen as a messy and chaotic process then we saw the dis, uh, trend of disciplinary focus where we saw writing for academic purposes writing for professional purposes writing for specific purposes so these different purposes actually gave the notion of needs analysis situation analysis gave the notion of planning goals then gave gave the concept of teachers training then evaluation of the course so there is a systematic way of designing course for english for specific purposes english for academic purposes or professional or occupational purposes so this focus actually is um saw english writing from genre perspective which varies from discipline to discipline for example the use of i um, may be allowed in social sciences and humanities and it may not be allowed in uh, scientific or engineering courses so this trend helped um uh, see the significance implicit and explicit knowledge then the focus was on needs analysis to analyze the needs lacks wants and strengths of the students and take into view the socio political issues affecting writing so l2 writers should be seen as persons who have their own lacks wants and strengths and weaknesses and what this knowledge of theory suggest the discussion about theories the practical and theoretical issues suggest that 
we should as language teachers design our own operational theories for a balanced and effective teaching.